Hey everyone, it's Farmer Maggie with Wild and Woven. And today we are working on getting everything cleaned and set up for tomorrow, which is chicken processing day. Y'all ready? So it is Mother's Day weekend and what else would I be doing other than processing our chickens? <laughs> Yay me! But the farm doesn't wait, chickens don't wait, and so here we are, we're getting ourselves ready and it is a hot weekend and unfortunately tomorrow may call for some pop-up thunderstorms because of the humidity and the heat. But I wanted to show you the day before what we are doing, the supplies that we have, what our setup looks like, and then I will get into the actual processing of the chickens when we start tomorrow. So I am here at our stainless steel table that we have, and this is where all of the uh, gutting and discarding of organs and feet and piecing out is going to happen. Um, and so with me right here, I have some supplies that we always keep on hand for processing. And the first thing would be gloves. I usually don't wear gloves just because I fumble so much, but we do have some people coming to help us and they may prefer to wear gloves. So we will also have other disposable items like lots of garbage bags, a lot of paper towels, and then for the actual piecing out of the chickens and placing feet separately and organs separately, we have a few of these bins. And I will link uh, a lot of these items down below in the description. So if you want to know what these are, where we got them, I will put that information below. So we have a few of these. Uh, it just depends on your preference, but you can separate organs to keep those with the chicken whole. You can keep the feet for making broth or just dog treats, pig treats, a lot of um, excess things that maybe we prefer not to eat, we will not waste, and they will go to dogs or pigs. We also keep bleach on hand for sanitizing. Um, that is the most important element when it comes to successfully processing your chickens. Um, you can do all the work and then have a really unsanitary situation and it will all go to waste. So other than that, tonight we will be sharpening our knives. The uh, second most important thing when processing chickens is a very sharp knife that will make or break your day. So in addition, we will have a lot of these just cleaned out fresh garbage cans. We will pack those full of ice and after we're done processing, the chicken will go into these and they will sit on ice. With our chickens this year, we have decided not to keep them whole. Um, we do love whole chicken. However, with meals throughout the summer, we decided that we would rather piece them up. So we are going to let the chickens sit on ice overnight in these bins in a secure location because you don't want wild animals getting into it. Um, and then the very next day, we are going to take the time and piece them all out and freeze them individually like that. That's just how our family will be able to access and eat the chicken in a much easier way. And so really the main equipment that we have to help us easily process these chickens is our plucker. And we bought this new from Stromberg's. I will link that in the description below. Um, it has a chute on it for the feathers and you can hook the hose directly up to it and it will spray. All you have to do is hit on and off and it's on wheels. It's a wonderful piece of equipment and it will save us so much time. It is a big expense, but because we process our chickens once if not twice a year, 
This is an expense that is going to pay us back over and over again. And then again from Stromberg's, we have the killing cones and we just mounted them to a pallet. That way it is very easy to transport around and then we will place buckets underneath the killing cones when it comes to slitting the chicken's neck and the blood will just drain directly into the bucket. And then finally we have our propane burner and big stock pot and we will fill that with water, we'll place a thermometer in it and we will bring it up to a temperature to scald the chicken right before you put it in the plucker. And this will help lift and loosen the feathers before it goes in the plucker and it will make the feathers come off much easier. So I'm going to get around to sharpening our knives and we will see you tomorrow for processing day. All right, it's chicken processing day and we've actually already started. We got the scalder heated up. We have some friends here and we're on our second or third bird. So come take a look and see what we're doing. So this is our setup. We have a chicken in the cone that we had just cut its neck. So then we are going to move it over to our scalder. The scalder is at 145 degrees. We'll dip it for about 30 seconds. And then we dip it in some cool water afterwards to stop the scalding process before it moves into the plucker.